What's up, y'all? I got some gangster notes for y'all today. Now, I know y'all remember Young Buck from G Unit, right? 50 Cent, Lil Crew. <clears throat> okay. Now, rumor has it that he is filing for bankruptcy. And it's a liquidation. He's about, I don't know, $12 million in the hole. And G Unit is the cost of $10 million. They said that he owes them for, um, I don't know, something about a contract, something with the contract that I guess, I don't know, something that he did with the contract. And woo -woo -woo. so he's filing for bankruptcy and they making this man give back his name. He has to seal back his name. That's crazy. The whole, the big part about it was he was in a negotiating deal with young money i'm sorry not young money cash money and they're like you know if we can have young buck as you know the whole the whole image of young buck and the name that we don't know if we want him you know because you know it'll, it's like they have to start from scratch or something they'll be taking a big chance so it's like damn the whole g unit world has fell apart for everybody except for 50. We have Olivia, who is on VH1, humiliating herself every Monday at, what, 7, 8 o'clock prompt. She is on there trying to get herself back together. It is like watching a, a rehab for her because it's like she's on the same level as Samaya. And Samaya is new. And she's making a name for herself. But we have Olivia who's been in the game for years, years, and nobody really knows her. And she's a beautiful person, a great singer. She is just not getting the chance that she needs out there. It is a tough crowd for Olivia. I hate to see her grow through this. And it's like funny because I was watching her the other show, and she's like, um, on, she was like on Love and Hip Hop, and she was trying to tell Tia Marie to tell Emily, don't go back to her relationship with Fab and woo 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 when somebody really needs to be a friend. A truth, if she if Tiara Marie was Emily's real friend, she'll let her know. So I'm thinking, like, <clears throat> who is your real friend to let you know you not about to get no, you're not making it. You, you know what I'm saying? Stop it. No, don't do that. Don't do that. So anyway, her whole her, her whole world has turned around. And as far as um, Lloyd Banks, he comes out every two years. So I guess. But that's crazy. Um, I just feel sorry for Young Buck because I really liked him. And I don't know why he's going. I hope I hope he still signs with. Cash money. I really do because he was a dope artist and he made stuff even after. And um it's always a sad thing to see celebrities go broke. It's especially rappers. Like I have a soft spot in my heart for rappers who go broke because like you come from the ghetto or whatever, or you didn't have the best advantage on life when you first started. And to get all that money and then to lose it. Now everybody knows that you're broke. Like, it's okay. Like, I can't, I don't know if I can be, be poor and then get rich and then get poor again. Because that is some depressing shit. Like, because when you're poor... You never get and never get famous. Like no, ever, okay, okay. Everybody around you is poor, and they're not expecting anything magical to happen in your life. It's like okay, you're accustomed to it. But once you are poor and you become rich, you feel like you have just conquered everything, and you're on top of the world. And then you you feel like you know you just had a second chance at life, and then to go back to being poor. Oh, hell no. Nah. Like, that is a disaster ready to happen. Like, if I, I would have to, I don't know, shoot somebody if I was 
if that happened to me. And like I said, or I'll probably be in a mental hospital. Uh, that's it's sad. So y'all keep your eyes open on Young Buck. Watch him because he might not be going by Young Buck anymore. I think his name is David Brown. So we might be seeing him as David Brown from now on. Let's keep our fingers crossed.